Hey, what's going on, family? It's your brother L. Hell excels. Excels the game. Excels my name. And make sure you guys go ahead and excel today. Also, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, this one is going to be very much directed for you college guys. Okay, because I know a lot of you guys in college, especially in this this generation, this year, it's 2024 when, when I'm making this video. The dating game has changed dramatically from when I was in college to this new generation. When I was in college, guys, at least my first year, it, it was pretty simple, all right? Yeah, social media was a thing. Yeah, you would use IG to like meet people, you know, see who got clout on the campus. But at the end all be all, you could really go out and pick up a girl. And to this day, you can do that. But there's some steps you gotta take. You gotta know how to play the game when it comes to, you know, when it when you're dating a younger college chick, you gotta realize these girls are more artificial. Okay, because when girls age, they look for more serious things. In college, what a girl is really looking for are new experiences and a fun time. If you're able to do both, you're gonna be the guy who she might have just saw as a one night stand to her wanting to like, you know, now she's calling you. Uh, it's a Thursday night, you know, you guys probably had exams this week. And now she, she, she's hitting you up for the D appointment. This happens, guys. Girls will really hit, hit your line, call you up, tell you to pull up, even tell you to pull up, bro, pull up to their apartments. Yes, this happens. But there's only certain kinds of guys that can pull this kind of game. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you are shy, you're not going to be able to get girls in college. You need to be able to communicate with girls. Okay. Now, there's tears to bagging chicks in college. Okay. Now, understand what do girls love from a man? What's, what's, what's one aspect they love? They want, what, what are qualities of a man? What makes up a man? A man, you know, a protector, provider, and a leader, he's able to contribute to society, right? So one of the first games I noticed in college is if you have fame, like if you got clout on the campus, this will help you a lot. Okay, so I won't lie to you. The guys who were in frats, uh, play sports, maybe football, baseball, the basketball team, even like rugby, teams like that, right? Like you got some like no notoriety on campus. Girls like that. They want a guy with some clout. They want a guy to know, first off, they want, they like to know that, okay, a guy is able to you know, be a part of a team. He got a little clout. He's traveling. He maybe got potential to move up. Maybe you go to a D1 school. Who knows? Those are the guys where... Dating comes a little bit more easier for them, hooking up with girls. But this video is really more directed for you guys who maybe you're not a part of a big team, but you're a cool guy. Maybe you're you're a handsome dude, but you're just struggling talking to girls. You're struggling texting them. You want to be the guy, like I said, to be that fun time, chill, nonchalant, and show her a new experience. So my big mistake my freshman year, guys, is I lacked social skills. I was intimidated talking to girls. And, you know, I was just, I wasn't handsome. I was not good looking. I didn't put work into myself like that. You want to practice on all three. You want to make sure you improve on all three of these aspects about yourself. Okay. Now, one of the first things that I started doing when I went to school that helped improve my sexual market value is I started going to the gym. Okay, all my life, I didn't go to the gym. You know, I, I played sports, but like I really didn't take the gym as serious as I probably should have. So that's the first step, guys. You need to get your ass in the gym. Like, no cap. If you're not, if you're 16 watching this video, 16 and older, you need to be in the gym. Maybe even 15, guys. If you're this young watching my videos, you need to get in the gym. Start now. Because I'm telling you, you will already be three years. If you start at 15 or 16, you're already three to two years ahead of the average dude that goes that starts going to the gym in college. Okay. Now, there's guys in college that stay in the gym. And there's guys in college that go to the gym for maybe a week or two 
when the first semester starts and that's when the gyms get flooded. Or you can be the guy that stays determined. Okay, you need to be determined in the gym. That, that's just clear cut. I'm not really going to go into that one. Secondly, I need you to start going out to parties. I need you to start going out to socialize. Guys, I'm not even telling you. If you don't even drink, that's cool. You don't even have to. Okay, I had a buddy in school who would just go up to girls, talk to them. And he didn't really drink. He was just himself. Me, on the other hand, I was a little bit different. But anyways, you need to be able to put yourself out there. Because like I said, that first aspect, if you don't have clout, you know, if you don't have some sort of, you know, you know, anything that's really going on with yourself, how are people going to know you? You're going to be that guy where you're going to talk to a girl and not a lot of like chicks know you. You need social, guys, social proof really can get you a long way when it comes to hooking up with girls or dating, right? Guys, you could be a six, but if you're socially validated with the people around you, like if other chicks see that they want you, they see you're good at, you know, you're cool with guys, you're a good communicator, you show good leadership qualities, that could boost you up at least two points in the game. I, I don't knock social game, guys. Especially like you handsome guys. Like, you know, you ever notice like you're just doing your own business, maybe you're at the gym or somewhere in public, and girls are kind of surrounding you and flooding you. That's great. That's social proof. That's showing girls that you're not a creep, that you're a cool guy, that other chicks are interested in you, that you're, you must have something going on about you. And girls want to know what's going on. Like, can I get a piece? Like, what's good? Like, are you funny? Are you rich? Are you outgoing? Are you charismatic? Are you charming? Are you strictly just good look? They, they're just curious to know. You keep them intrigued this way. Okay? You need to start going out and start talking. Thirdly, you just need to be nonchalant and you cannot commit to relationships so quickly, guys. There's nothing wrong with being into a relationship in school, but my mistakes every single time is I would always try to initiate these relationships. You want the girl to do that for you, okay? You want her to adore you, chase after you, because once a girl feels chased from a dude, this dries her up completely she's like the sahara desert it's like you're walking through the egypt like you're at the freaking pyramid of giza it's just dry it's not good no bueno but when she's chasing a man that keeps her intrigued because she is more emotionally put into you she's more emotionally invested into you so when you're out here and you're showing her oh i just want you i'm thirsty for you not nah. Okay, you don't owe you do not show being thirsty with a chick. Okay, I messed up a couple of times with girls. Um, you know, we would hook up, and then you know, I wanted a girlfriend, you know, so I'd pursue that. I'd let her know oh, you're my girl, this, this, and that. No, just be nonchalant, like I said, be that fun guy. You can always, guys, I'm telling you, like a sneaky link can end up her turning into like your girl, your main chick. And you didn't even like put that much effort. They don't want you to put in too much effort. She wants just to come to you. Let her be the girl to call, just call you at night like, yo, I need that D. Like, yes, guys, I've gotten phone calls like this. Yes, this happens. This happens. Don't knock it. You don't want to be pushy. Especially when you're meeting new girls, you're at parties, at a bar. Introduce yourself, be social. But once you start showing any like thirstiness, like, oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, you sh like you're 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 oppressing too much. It's just it's not good. Girls don't like that. Girls don't want that. It, it turns them off. But when you're just chill, guys, just talk, having like little conversations, just getting to know a chick, really gets you farther. Okay, I used to be the guys. I'm telling you, and all my friends used to tell me this. I used to be the guy who was just like straight up down to the point. Hey, are we fucking? I remember the first girl I ever had over at my dorm. I, I literally asked her, like, within five minutes of her sitting in my bed and we're just chit-chatting, are we going to fuck? <laughs> yes, I have said this to a girl. Oh, she walked out right away. As she should, though. As she should. I don't blame her. But I was in inexperienced. I didn't really know. You don't want to be too direct. But then again, you don't want to be too nonchalant. You don't want to be in that friend category. You want to be in between. Let her know, like, you're cool to, like, just talk to you. You're a good vibe. But you're not pressing for it. That's the guy that she wants to really hook up with in college. You know, you're not pressing. If y'all have time, you know, you give her a date. If she can, you know, 
she's trying to pull up to the crib. And that's the thing too, guys, you don't gotta take these girls out on dates, especially in college. Girls know, you know, you, you when you're in college, you, you probably don't have a lot of money. I understand it'd be strict on the finances, you'd be working, um, you know, you're balancing school. Like school's more important than like the money right now because you're making this investment into getting a degree so you get more money. I get it. I get that. So girls will, are more understanding, at least with college guys in this aspect. If they know you, they see you around campus, they know, okay, he, he he's in college. I don't expect him to be a baller baller. But money does, I won't lie to you, like the guys who had the nice Porsches and the BMWs in campus, they were banging chicks because at the end of the day, chicks like a rich dude. Chicks like going to frat houses because usually these guys are, you know, richer. It is what it is. Don't knock them for their game. But it is what it is. Don't get mad at it. You just got to understand how the game operates. You can be that chill guy that she's just pulling up to at night. And that's the thing. If you're going to send it with this girl, if you're really going to ask, if you really want to hook up with this girl, don't pussyfoot around. Don't be like, oh, let's go on a date. And let's go do this and that and go to call. No, you don't got to do that. If you want to, by all means, you can. But at the end of the day, if you're just strictly trying to hook up, guys, you just got to tell her to pull up to the crib. It's really not that hard. Just text her, just pull up. Usually, 90% of the time they will. If you're already smashed and hooked up from like a one night stand, you guys meet from a bar, you take her back from a party. The thing where I messed up as guys is I would press afterwards. I would keep telling her, oh, the next day, what are you doing? Blowing up the phone, going back and forth. No, girls don't want that. They want the guy that takes forever to text back, you know, and I'll go up. You want her to question like, does he even like me? We hooked up, I gave it to him, does he like me? You want to keep her in that headspace because you want her to earn the validation from you. You want her to earn the attention and, you know, being able to see you, not the other way around. Okay, but in school, guys, don't take it too serious and just enjoy the process. Go out there, introduce yourself. School, what I really gained from it going to college is it helped me with my social game. It helped me network, it helped me meet people, it helped me, you know, see different cultures and backgrounds of people, and so I can know how to communicate thoroughly and effectively and just be a chill guy, not to press on anybody's toes. It is what it is, guys. Enjoy school. Enjoy the process of building yourself up. Enjoy the struggles. You got to enjoy the ups and downs of it. Because at the end of the day, you're using this to get to a higher advantage. Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't be a person that just always wants to party. And, you know, now you wasted so much money just for one semester just to fuck it all up. Don't do one of those. Don't be one of those dudes. Focus on the long-term picture. Remember why you're in school. And try to get the hell out of there as soon as possible. Make connections. Try to find a job. Guys, if that's what you desire to do, hey, I'm not knocking it. Do what you want to do. College, it's not meant for everybody. If you live in a college town, you can still use these principles, guys. Pull up to these parties, bars, and just meet these people. Go socialize and just enjoy the process. If you made it this far in my video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you, boys. It's your boy, Alex Sells. I want you to go out and have that college experience, man. Enjoy it up. Live it up.